good afternoon and welcome to all this is sonia mittal here from uh, ifa uh, we are today hosting the third session uh, of the ifa expressions i like to welcome uh, meenu ma'am uh, chef thiru and uh, uh, also mr uh, raghubalan for the session uh, over to priya to take this forward Hello, everybody. A very good afternoon, and uh, welcome to the third episode of uh, Expressions by IFA. Uh, now, as the colleges uh, gear up on, uh, you know, getting the new batch of students in the upcoming uh, uh, academic year and planning placements for the final year students, uh, we have started observing that a majority of students are ditching housekeeping as a profession and are going in for different allied subjects. Uh, even post-COVID, where hygiene and cleanliness uh, plays the front role. Uh, we have very few takers uh, for our profession here so where are the generation x housekeepers and are they ready is going to be the topic that we are going to discuss today yes uh, as this topic is very important the reason for the next generation housekeepers is ready is simply because the demand is very high and at the same time the supply is very short so it is important to know that there are number of diversified lines that have opened for profession for youngsters and the youngsters are opting for number of professions across but related to housekeeping definitely the knowledge that gets imparted at uh, various levels is uh, different so the connect has to be very very strong and this platform is going to give us that connect which will make the uh, department requirement and the supply that comes from the colleges and other places bridge the gap and connect beautifully see there are primarily three things which um, i think are absolutely essential one is constant updation of the syllabus uh, rather than constant as a periodical updation of the syllabus because the industry is transitioning at a very fast pace the duration when the syllabus should be updated has to be um, fixed and as and when it is required the syllabus has to be updated there's no point in uh, imparting knowledge about things which are redundant or not being followed the second thing is the quality of faculty i would say this actually is the most important thing because ultimately we get um, influenced or interested in a particular subject or stream primarily because of the person who is imparting that knowledge to us if the person or the faculty himself or herself is not passionate is demotivated or has just taken up academics as a stop gap or because they were frustrated with the industry which sadly happens quite a bit then they would not be justifying the doing the thing is uh, you have to understand that the faculty are actually the pillars of not only the institution but also the industry because they are grooming the future of the industry so the institution should play a very important role in selecting the right faculty the deserving ones somebody who is really keen on grooming students towards their department not ones who are demotivating them from the department or the industry the faculty should be up to date with what's happening in the industry they should also spend time in the industry just like the students go through industrial exposure the faculty also should spend time in the industry periodically i mean a routine needs to be worked out in conjunction with the institution and the industry where the faculty needs to know what are the latest trends in the industry and practically work not theoretically know they should practically be able to understand the uh, repercussions of the new trends and i'll be i'm waiting for the time when you have these kind of competitions a on the media television uh, non hotel management related uh, institutions also taking up these kind of competitions that is when people are going to get more aware of housekeeping there'll be more reach grasp and people will understand the value of housekeeping 
it's a good thing that uh, organizations like the IPHA now are working tremendously. Uh, it has to go beyond uh, the hotel management institutions and the hotel industry. What my suggestion would be that to bridge uh, you know gap between industry and academia. Now uh, we need to uh, uh, revisit that entire uh, the process of making syllabus. But as far as what we did it in Vaksha, we uh, uh, we had a curriculum conclave. Now the curriculum conclave, the first focus on outcome based education. What is outcome based education? Which talk about competency, we talk uh, talk about skill set and knowledge. What is required? And then every chapter we have to articulate what is expected from the students at the end of the uh, chapter. But what challenges we face, some hotels are very accommodative in this approach. And when we say that this is the standard um, you know, uh, format which we are using for our students to train, like three months is a mandatory in a operation department, the core area, whichever department they would like to specialize. And rest of the three months, they have to uh, they, they, can, they have to rotate through all the department. Uh, today is a digital world. I think uh, uh, now, um, I think academicians and industry should come forward and create a, a manual or what you call it, uh, simple uh, for even internship. We have to sit together. See, from uh, academic side, we are uh, creating some standard document what in students have to be uh, absorbed when they go. So when you talk about study material, which could be a book or it could be a research article, I think uh, uh, there are a lot of changes we can bring in because rest of the other professional courses, you get ample amount of information on online. My take to that would be that, you know, there's a, a, we relate entire housekeeping with cleaning. So we do competition in cleaning. Then we started to do it in bed making, towel art, etc. I think that is all now uh, already in system. We should elevate ourselves a, a little more and have a type of competition. As we said, that it could be that uh, it could go into the designing. It could go into the interior. It could go into the color combination, the color palette, and that you would like to uh, bring in eye for details, some kind of uh, brain teasers, uh, some kind of, uh, you know, how do you look at the art? What are the, you know, art, 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 artists that are available? What kind of an art is it? And what kind of weaves are they? So even if we can discuss and do weaves of India, that competition on weaves of India, that what weaves are these? Which region does it belong to, etc., which is like a practical knowledge and something about the poetry and something about the uh, these uh, making of these uh, ceramic. Is it ceramic? Is it glass? Is it uh, bone china? Something like that, you know, to create uh, some kind of a buzz in their mind as to it's not only the competitions of cleaning. Uh, I think we are not capitalizing their talent pool because we think that um, because uh, we are not reaching to them according to their expectation, what I believe. Let us say that one design thinking workshop on housekeeping, what is the future housekeeping room supposed to look like? Now, definitely, if you put a small group of students and ask them that, put yourself into, you know, go back that, you know, next five years junior to you, then somebody comes and stay in hotel what kind of expectation they would be having. So let us, uh, you know, think in that, you know, whom we are catering for future. Most competitions are focused on the skill part, but none of the competition uh, are now focused on, uh, suppose uh, this is, uh, you have a 60 room hotels in this city and there are about around uh, 50 odd hotels are there. And looking at your business potential, how do you maximize your revenue and what kind of, you know, uh, we can bring into a little bit of financial aspect itself that uh, how they could, uh, what is there will be a USP for selling them to their room. Of course, sales and marketing team, they will do. But being an expert and if each department come out with some kind of, uh, you know, initiative like this and using this, it could be not only housekeeping, I'm talking about rest of the department as well. So one is design thinking. Second is talking about identification of fabrics and so on and so forth. Today we talk about pictures, electrical pictures, why we are not doing something on futuristic uh, 
of course even though our students are not engineer but still we can ask what how the bathroom fitting should be like in future hotels right how will you save water right i think uh, there are uh, we, we should try it i'm definitely i'm sure that uh, something which uh, new uh, thing will emerge from this youngster basically what we need to do give them a room space tell them that if you are you know this hotel would be constructed in odisha in uh, let's say in konark what should be the room they say they don't need to travel there because we have to connect them to culture and the local flavor so let us uh, in uh, probably in each and every hotel before they go into projects but wherever the team is there they can give one room come out with this particular room you have to create because we are going to come out with the hotel in so and so city but how the room supposed to be so connecting to the local influence so we can just tell them go to that place collect all the necessary things come and then you just put a you know we'll give them uh, 30 days time to completely design starting from the electrical fixtures to furniture everything how they can replicate the local so that that could be also one of the i think you can uh, take best students from uh, across pan india and put them in this project and give them a room tell them 30 days this is your project you see what is the the main gap here uh, each and every hotel whichever city they are located they should uh, you know be uh, sorry uh, colleges they should be closely associated with the in and around the hotel which is there it within the you know proximity so that all these students can be put for the mentoring and uh, talking about curriculum yes uh, we should introduce uh, for it, full four years the housekeeping subject because it's so much to learn it's not only production right. we have a two years with us to you know to identify the talents of course there will be around even we take 100 in that there even 50% of them dropped out and they don't want to further even after training but remaining 50% will continue to work in that hotel chain it's a good numbers for you know past two years you trained right from the college you identified them and you had put a mentorship and then they are closely connected with the hotel unit mentors and also they done a internship then when they get on to the management training program we can save lot of time a lot of uh, these uh, multi millionaires and lot of other uh, people who can afford are looking for uh, trained housekeeping professionals to come and manage their uh, houses that you know they are going to create a, when someone can create a niche for themselves now we talk about healthcare um, healthcare sector you know our hospitality students can specialize in that because in future you don't know uh, we talk about lifestyle diseases non communicable diseases and there are so many things and, and having pandemic experience i think housekeeping is going to be the paramount importance of our day to day life and how they are going to create a niche for them and i think um, um, they don't need to you know worry that that they are going to do only the what they are going to experience in one day when they are students but i think in future when they take up the leadership role um, there are so much options them options are there for them to look into that and at the moment the challenges that the industry is facing is that training the employees especially training the staff to take up the new uh, new ways and new uh, new cleaning ways uh, when it comes to post covid and also without forgetting the basics which are always there along with housekeeping so training on people is something that the industry is facing at the moment is what i believe and uh, when it comes to the curriculum i uh, i remember my college days so i remember that uh, we were studying what what the chemicals were when when, when we joined the industry there are a lot of difference which is there so that is something that uh, that i feel i also remember that i had this opportunity of uh, choosing a housekeeping as my career so i had this in my mind that i would want in whatever way i can uh, influence people that it is just not about cleaning we can always motivate the new people new generation towards interior decoration or uh, or to sele- or to opt for a new career base which is through housekeeping and they can obviously go t- uh, go beyond housekeeping and select a career path to it so uh, 
it is very important for our new generation that they should be motivated and we should not forget like in our day to day life and in our day to day work we should not forget to motivate them so your basics have to be absolutely correct your fundamentals have to be absolutely correct you should not look upon that this is five star this is three star this is two star or this is facility management or this is some other industry whichever wherever you as an individual as a professional has been put across you should go and perform and uh, that's what delivers results so facility management is definitely a need of the hour today so need of the hour because there are multiple places for which you don't have direct experts with you you need that support from these uh, from this kind of a market we need to understand that we are playing a very crucial role especially post covid scenario every institution every workplace every industry every uh, what to say uh, aspect which runs an economy is looking forward to this particular profession to take and hold their hands to ensure that they are able to perform if there is no housekeeping in a hotel the hotel will not be able to perform if there is no facility management or any admin head to take care of the entire facility maintain it and keep it something where the employees can work successfully and do their core activity it will perish so it is on our shoulders today that we need to take on our responsibility understand the new changes that is happening we have been talking of dirt of study material it is there we all are contributing in different ways there are magazines there are even now digital talks that has come up and i think uh, with sonia and ifas help we will be coming forward with more such videos the reason why we started expressions is to discuss these topics to give those pointers to the industry that today where housekeeping is it has actually moved much far far ahead and there is so much of digitization everything i don't need to call a housekeeper or an executive housekeeper to tell me how do i clean the space i just need a qr code i just need one digital film in my mobile to tell me how do i clean this place we have gone far beyond how is everybody in this young generation aware where we are it is time you all update yourself be part of all such forums understand and move forward we are going to rule the world service industry is going to rule the world be prepared for it